Well, it may be the break in the case investigators, family, and, and we've all been waiting to happen for nearly four years. We're talking about the case of missing Dior Coons Jr. His parents reported last seeing him at the Timber Creek Campground near Lidore on July 10th, 2015. He has not been seen since. And now four years and three private investigators later, there's a possible significant development in the investigation. Our Kim Fields has been following it from the very beginning, and she is taking a break from her vacation in Tampa Bay, Florida, to bring us the latest on the case. Kim? Well, Brian, all afternoon I've been talking with David Marshburn. He is a North Carolina-based private investigator now involved with Dior Coons Jr. case. And based on what he has told me, this could be a major break in the nearly four-year-old cold case. There are still a lot of unanswered questions, but in Marshburn's words, he feels that this is the closure everybody has needed. He believes that his two cadaver dogs detected human remains at the campground site where two-year-old Dior Coons Jr. was reportedly last seen. Marshburn says that he was consulted by a family friend earlier this year to become involved with the case. Marshburn is also consulted with Vernal Coons, Dior's father. Marshburn says his part in the case was to locate the area where Dior may be, and he felt like he found it. Marshburn says that he took his two cadaver dogs to the campsite the week of June 8th and let them just go free, do their job. He says within three hours, his dogs did, quote, hard, heavy alerts on an area at the campground indicating that they had detected what he believes to be human remains. Marshburn was quick to say, quote, could it have been an Indian buried there? Maybe. But Marshburn says his two cadaver dogs have had success all over the country and that he trusts and believes his dogs. But the big question now, and you're probably wondering this at home, why would Marshburn's two cadaver dogs make a hit and not the other dogs who were brought in by authorities in the immediate days after Dior disappeared? I asked Marshburn that. He told me it's all in the training and the reading of a dog. And he says that his dogs are trained only to hit on human remains and not animal remains. Marshburn says that Limhi County Sheriff Steve Penner was with him as his dog searched the campground and that Penner brought in another search dog that also detected a hit in the same area. Again, this all happened the week of June 8th, according to Marshburn. He says law enforcement has been monitoring the detected site at the campground since that time to make sure that it hasn't been tampered with as Sheriff Penner gathers the additional resources and help that his office needs to go back to the site and properly collect any evidence that may be there. Marshburn says that this is not just about finding a child, but finding justice, and that Sheriff Penner is making sure things are done by the book. So what happens now? Marshburn says that Sheriff Penner and his crew have, been, have closed off the campsite to continue their investigation, but Marshburn believes that within 24 to 48 hours, they will have what they need. Again, that this will be the closure that everybody, Brian, as you said at the top of the show, everybody, all of Idahoans, wanted and have needed. It's, it's very interesting. Speaking of closure, they're closing the campground this weekend to do that right uh, this weekend to find that within the 24 or 48 hours. And we know we've had cadaver dogs out there before. What does this investigator, Kim, think happened? So he wouldn't go into specifics about what he thinks happened to little Dior Coons Jr., but he did tell me, I believe, quote, I believe 100% that the parents are innocent and he does not want the parents ridiculed anymore in the public. He was very adamant about that, told me several times throughout my conversation today with him, I believe the parents are 100% innocent. Well, this obviously contradicts what happened back in January of 2016 when then Sheriff Lynn uh, Bowerman named the parents as prime suspects in this investigation. And it also contradicts Brian what sh former Sheriff Bowerman told me then was that he believes little Dior wasn't even at that campground, wasn't even at the campsite, that perhaps maybe this was just a story that the parents had made up. But according to this new private investigator, he believes his two cadaver dogs have hit on what he believes is human remains and says that this will be closure in the case and that we will learn much more in 24 to 48 hours.
It's just he says the way his dogs were trained. I kept asking him that. What, what makes it that your dogs were able to find it and not everyone else's dogs? I mean, we were up there, Brian, KTBB, yeah. as, as teams searched this area and, you know, scoured the pond that was there. And there was no trace, no trace of little Dior. Uh, and yet within three hours, his dogs, he said, made a hit. It's amazing. Well, Kim, as you mentioned, so much has happened in just those four years. The great grandfather that was out camping with them has passed away just this month as well. So lots of other developments have happened, but we're waiting within the next 24 to 48 hours. We could find if this is, in fact, a major development in the missing case of Dior Coons Jr. Thank you very much for taking time out of your vacation there, Kim, in Florida. We will uh, we'll continue to follow this, of course. Uh, at KTVB.com, but you can also go to KTVB.com to see episodes of our exclusive series about Dior Coons Jr.'s disappearance that is called Little Man Lost.